If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform this little plain miniature Hennessy bottle into this lovely, edgy, glammed, different, unique bottle, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add some embellishments to this Hennessy bottle. I just want to try something different. So um, I'm going to be using uh -oh, these eight millimeter cone dome spikes or rivets, some people call them rivets. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna to really quickly take some alcohol, wipe this bottle off really quickly. This would be like a cute little keepsake or just a nice little gift. Holidays coming up, this would be a nice stocking stuffer or whatever you want it to be type of gift. I'm gonna use this wax pickup stick I will have a link available where you can purchase these little rivets if you're interested. And I'll be using E6000 glue. It says E6000 on it, sorry about that. You know, these bottles kind of crack after you bend them a little bit. So it started to squeeze out, that's why I wrapped it with a paper towel. So excuse that. I'm gonna go ahead and hop right into it. I'm gonna start at the bottom. A little bit of glue because I don't want it sliding around too much. So we'll see. Okay, and just a side note, the reason I'm using E6000, because I know I did talk stuff about E6000 before. I like to use liquid fusion. Um, why I didn't use it, I don't know. This was just already sitting out, so I just used it. I specifically mainly use E6000 because I need it for when I do Crocs because Liquid Fusion does not do the job. But I will start back using my um, Liquid Fusion because it's like, it's basically odorless compared to E6000. Because someone asked me in my comments but somehow they must have deleted it. But that's why I'm using E6000 because I just didn't grab the Liquid Fusion but I like that better. It costs more but I like it better. So these are sliding a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, put them in place where I want them to be and kind of just hang out and let it sit just like that. And then okay, so because these um, eight millimeter uh, cone spike rivets kind of kept sliding, what I did is I just did about five or six on the first side and kind of like laid it a certain way so it could just dry. Cause if I would have set it on the on the bottom, it would have just slid downward. Cause that's what was happening. But I noticed once they begin to dry and you get that first bottom layer going, when they slide down, they're sliding down to a layer that's already settled. So I think that kind of helps. So if you're gonna do this, do half your bottom side, then do the other bottom side. Let that dry, then come back and start adding the rest. Because once they start to slide down, they're not going to just slide off because you have that sturdiness at the bottom. Um, I hope I'm explaining that right. Just let your first bottom roll dry first, then come back and do the rest. So I think this is just so cute and like, I don't know, like futuristic. I mean, if you think it looks dangerous, I mean, I wouldn't let a child play with this, but it's really kind of dull. It's not like that, that spiky. And if you're wondering how you will open something like this, you would simply just hold it by the labels. Put your finger on the front label, thumb on the back label, and twist this puppy open. Simple as that. It's just something cute like to just have on your bar, you know. Of course, if you want to do a bigger one of these, and I want to try to remember too, to count them so you can have an idea of how many spikes it actually took because I didn't count it. And I know sometimes you guys like to know exactly how much rhinestones or how many spikes or whatever it is I'm using so you can have like a good idea of how many to buy or what you'll need. But I think this is so different. It actually, it is different than any other uh, shorty bottle or bottle that I've done. That's why I like it so much. I've used these spikes on Crocs and I thought the outcome was really cute. I did notice after a while though, um, a little bit of discoloration comes it doesn't just stay this bright and pretty. Like I guess maybe condensation or just over time, some of that chrome dipping will come off a little bit. I haven't noticed it like massively to where it just turns black. 
these are so cute this is just so cute like look I'm almost finished it really didn't take me that long at all because you know the bigger or the smaller um, gem rhinestone or spike you're using it takes longer this didn't take me too long at all aside from letting the first layer dry the first roll dry once I just sat here and kept it going I mean I had to stop a little bit to you know tend to my my 18 month old but if I was just to sit and just do this consistently it's definitely under an hour I would say probably 40 minutes or less to do this but um you know I've never done it before so I was kind of worried about when I got closer to the top like was I gonna have a gap in of space but it worked out you guys it worked out and it's almost finished and I'm gonna go ahead and reveal it to you now okay I counted the spikes approximately 120 is what I used okay you guys here is the final finish result again if you fast forward it I use e6000 glue for um, plastics and glass I like to use e I mean um, liquid fusion better the difference is it has a less of a smell harsh smell supposedly non-toxic it does cost four times more than um, e6000 it's about 12 or 13 dollars on Amazon I can't find it in my local uh, craft store though so I get everything on Amazon anyway for the most part so it's cool but you guys this is so cute like okay like I said the holidays were coming up this would be such a cute stock and stuff or this would be cute for a birthday this would be cute just to have period or even if you just want to sit it somewhere in your home because you may have like a gold theme in your home or something you may know someone who just loves Hennessy and collects Hennessy bottles they may want to add something like this to their collection it's just so many reasons why you know that you want to make something like this for someone even if you did a different bottle and use silver or if you paint the bottle silver and you decided that you want to do silver um, rivets um, or cones spikes I like to call them spikes but I know there's different names for them as well um, I will have a link available uh, to where these can be purchased I recently got some 10 millimeter um, spikes in as well but that may be too bulky I don't know or if you wanted to do rhinestones and spikes you know twist it up like that I just think this is just so freaking cute and for those of you who do like um, side shows or pop-up shops you want to have some on your table that's gonna like really really stand out and catch people eye like those little one-of-a-kind you could have like two of these on your table and I guarantee by the end of the day I think these will be gone now if you want to know how much I charge for something like this I actually you could charge whatever you want honestly you can it depends on um, your time um, how long it's gonna take you how long you're gonna pay for the spikes uh, it just depends but when I did shorty bottles with rhinestones you know it was small it didn't take me long um, when I did the one pop-up shop I did a couple months ago I charged 25 for my shorty bottles and they weren't empty they did still have the liquor in them um, which you know may be an issue but the the event I was at I asked and they said that was fine girl just come set your table up and do your thing if you sell them empty you may want to consider that but this has never been open it's brand new and I charge 25 um so I say 25 and 30 and it really depends on what the person want to pay for so you know I wouldn't say 50 or 40 no 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 but if you get into like a bigger size bottle absolutely this shorty bottle cost me no more than three dollars at my local um, grocery store liquor store so just throwing that out because I know you like to know about prices and stuff but okay you guys thank you for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you did en enjoy it hello to my new subscribers hello to all my subscribers um, share this video on Facebook check out my playlist I have a whole playlist full of liquor bottles wine bottles things I've done glitter or rhinestones to check that out if you're into that type of thing if you don't subscribe and you're just stopping by thank you so much for at least stopping by and watching this video thanks you guys bye bye